A legendary figure in the history of the Rochester Americans, Joe Crozier helped lay the foundation for one of the AHL's flagship franchises. Crozier played 12 professional seasons as a defenseman, making AHL stops in Springfield and Providence before first joining Rochester and helping them to a berth in the 1960 Calder Cup Finals. After his retirement, Crozier returned to the Amherst as head coach and soon added the duties of general manager. Within two years, Crozier's club was the class of the American Hockey League. Beginning in 1965, the Amherst reached four consecutive Calder Cup finals and won three championships, the most prolific run by any team in AHL history. Crozier moved on from Rochester, but returned to the AHL as coach of the Cincinnati Swords in 1971. He was promoted mid-season to become head coach of the Buffalo Sabres and would make the same leap from New Brunswick to the Toronto Maple Leafs in 1980. Crozier returned to the Amherst for one final season behind the bench and guided the club to yet another finals appearance, his fifth trip in six seasons as Rochester's coach. Joe Crozier retired in 1984 with a career record of 305 victories, 199 defeats and 46 ties, an impressive 596 winning percentage. Congratulations, Joe, on a well-deserved induction into the American Hockey League Hall of Fame. You were my first National Hockey League coach and I have terrific memories of it. You were very caring of myself and some of the young defensemen on our Buffalo Sabres team. And one of the things that I used to look forward to every year was that Christmas card you used to send out with a black crow on it. And the headline was, The Crow Knows, and the crow knew because he taught us a lot of really good things on the ice and off the ice as young players. Congratulations again, Joel. Very proud of you. On behalf of the Montreal Canadiens and myself, I'd really like to congratulate you on your induction to the American Hockey League Hall of Fame. Well-deserved, fantastic. We're so happy for you. And uh, after all those years of playing and coaching, uh, you've taught so many people so many things and uh, you brought so many guys uh, to their highest levels and uh, it was a lot to do with hard work and uh, you're very dedicated and uh, you got the most out of your players and uh, the one thing I do remember is uh, a, a night where uh, we didn't play as well as we needed to and uh, you'd be there at center ice there with your, your coffee and your chair and you'd be making a skate there and uh, obviously it made us much better players and uh, congratulations to you again and thank you so much for making us better people. Congratulations Joe, welcome to the, welcome to the family and um, uh, couldn't happen to a better guy. I learned so much from you my first couple years uh, uh, in Moncton. Uh, you're a hard, uh, hard coach but I mean uh, uh, not only were you fair, you taught me a lot and stuff that I still use today on, on the basics. Uh, you were well ahead of your time and dedicated and uh, uh, there's still drills I do to this day that I call Joe Crozier drills. So it's, uh, uh, I, I think it's an honor that's way overdue for you and uh, the next step is the NHL Hockey Hall of Fame. So, but congratulations and, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. You know, I am going to talk about Joe Crozier. He was my coach for six years and I had more fun. We won three Calder Cups. He was, him and Punch were the best. Punch, maybe Punch was the best coach I ever had. Joe was close second. He was a player, GM. I mean, he did it all. And uh, I, him and I used to fight the whole time. And you know, he was so superstitious. Is that the word? I mean, it was a joke after a while. I remember one time, he, uh, we, we used to have a plastic uh, garbage bag in the room. And he used to come in and kick it all the time. Well, we changed it into a steel one. And he came in mad at us, kicked the thing, broke his toe. He wore a slipper. We went on a streak. He wouldn't take it off. I mean, the guy really was unbelievable. Joe, you were a great coach. You, you, I don't know where I'd be what, without you. Uh, I, you helped me out. I had a tough time after I retired. You brought me out to Vancouver for a while. You're a great coach. You're a great guy. And you deserve your great honor that you'll get tonight, Joe. You, can't say enough about you. I wouldn't be where I am today without you.